Hello, this is Max Drake. I'd just like to talk to you about this um, uh, free pro flexible tool to automate processing and organizing files and folders. It's called Drop It. Um, I was using Fabuti Automation uh, Workshop and it was free for personal use. It's now not free at all. And that would actually, I was using that for doing a bit of file management when things just got a bit junky. I start cleaning things out and sending it to different places. Uh, this one here just has this little floating icon here. Now you can choose where your floating icon goes and does whatever it does um, in, in what it is. But basically, um, let me demonstrate how it works. First of all, you can actually get this from SourceForge. So um, uh, it's it's um, uh, available and it's open source. There are a couple of videos on there. This particular chap, A Max CX. D. Um, he does a lot of uh, Mac sort of stuff, but he has some stuff on Windows and he's um, Thai, so some of them are just silent. But if you work through, you'll see that he's <laughs> a smart boy. <laughs> anyway, he's got a couple of demonstration ones, and this particular one's quite good, the way that he uses filters to, to do some of the things that he's doing. Um, so that's another little resource I just pointed to. Now let's just go on to here. So I've got... Um, uh, I'm a messy person. I think I might mention in another video. I do a lot of stuff inside um, uh, downloads. I just send everything there, and then I have a whole lot of directories that I work in. Then when I've sort of finished with them, I go and push them somewhere else. But it's my sort of home away from home for everything I've got. So suddenly I've got a whole load of files through here. So what am I going to do with them? One of the things that I can actually do, I'm just going to go back to here and go into profiles and go to move menu. So I've selected that one there. Now actually I'm only going to do half. The files in here because I want to demonstrate something else and I can drag them across to here and then it goes and reads those files and it says right play and all those files disappear so now I'm going to do that same ex example again with the rest of the files right the way through there and oh, it's a shift and shift click there we go. And if I right hand click, I can go send to, and here I've got that same icon, move manually, or move manual, or something like that, I think I've called it. So the same thing there, and I press that, and it's just cleaned out um, that junky bit, which actually had a whole lot of different file types. Now, the three or four different file types that I had was I had some images. Um, I had some, uh, I put zip files, exe setup files and MSI files into one directory and I look at them and then if I need them then I keep them. And then there was a whole load of PDF files that I sent. So if I just do that again, I'm just going to take, oh, cancel, uh, control X, take them out of there, put them into here. So uh, going into there now I'm just going to grab all everything in that so some would be PDFs and some of them won't and I'm just going to go into send to and go and put them into that particular place so this is actually doing a manual process that I said take everything there and go and sort the PDFs and it's going to move the PDFs into there so how does it do that well inside here there's a whole load of profiles and I've worded them off so if you create a new profile all that is is it's just a word and so we're going to create a new one it's going to be a word so we're going to call this Z Z Z Z Z and we're going to give it an image so all it is is just an icon that we actually identified with and I'm just going to give it a box through there so that's all you've got when you actually do a profile this was something that I thought there was some sort of subtlety so now if we go and right click there and go profiles and choose that Z Z Z we can start doing some associations with that particular icon now the associations to do with that we can create a new one and we can call it um, move some <coughs> files who cares and the rules so in here you can say to, so what do we want to do first of all what do we want to do it on so we could do it on all files or we could do all files without other matches <coughs> I haven't really got into that yet or star.jpg all files with a JPEG extension 
<coughs> penguin stars so all files that begin with penguin so again there's all chat so we can have a folder with some jpeg files or here there's one just get me all the common image files and so that's one that they've got as a preset on there we can then add additional filters onto those what i've been doing a lot of the time is that i've been really specific personally as to where i'm taking those files from on some of the operations especially the ones which i'm doing or I'm automating or I'm monitoring a specific folder so I'm making sure making sure I've got the specific file types in a specific folder to begin with because then I set it to now I can do an action onto there so I can move copy compress extract um, rename uh, there's some creative theme but I've moved things to clipboards or I can ignore them so basically I can actually have two operations I can say anything which is an image file ignore so and uh, I just rename that and just to ignore and then I say um, I can create a new one there and it's going to be move files and the rule is I could actually have most probably something right that star dot star so I can actually say star dot star so I can say take every file and so what it'll do first of all it'll read the ignore um, from a thing so where's my star I've lost my star um, and move them to a destination folder so we can actually say um, screenshots so move them there select that folder and then we go save so it's saying don't do anything with those files but any other files go and move there so we can go okay there now i'm just going to grab a couple of these ones here and i'm going to drag them onto there and if i run they should disappear now if i just go into that screenshots folder there's a few images and some other things so we just grab those ones there and we'll move them back to whoops download and i'm going to take those files now and I'm going to send to ZZZZZ and ignore, 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 and go OK. And the image files stay here because on that one there, we told them don't do anything with that. Now, if I convert that over and I do that to the move manual and I take all of those files in there um, and chuck them in there run uh, you'll now find that those image files have gone into there now so there's the image files I'm just gonna take those two out of there because they don't belong there so that's where you can start saying if you see this sort of file do these sorts of things now that's the manual side of the thing and it's a quite well controlled as to what you can do and where it's sending it you can send files all over so you can grab a whole lump let it let that do the thinking for you there's also another part of this process as well inside options um, there's a whole lot of things I've got the little icon sitting up here to begin with and it's good when you're doing your testing to actually have the icon there so you quickly find it and play with all of these ones here you could do some other ones uh, play a sound when the process is completed now that's quite a good thing to do your testing just to say that something's happened um, show message if there's a partial fail so it does a pop-up through there there's ignore unassociated files and folders now the first time that I actually did this inside my screenshots i was trying to move these files across to the screenshots plus one day and when i did star dot star for in here it also took any of the files in all of these other ones and the first thing it did was sent them all the way over to the other one which i was a bit peeved off because that one i didn't expect so you've actually got to make sure you say don't or ignore all the folders and the folder instead of star dot star is a wild card for any file star dot with an extension of star so it's got any extension that comes along but if you do wildcard wildcard so star star that means folder so you can then do another line which says any of the folders 
ignore so it doesn't try deleting the folders because that's what it was also doing as well so this is why it's quite important with these things that you actually are very careful at the beginning of testing with a couple of make a couple of dummy files put a couple of fo files inside those dummy file folders sorry make a couple of dummy folders put a couple of files inside those and do your testing in there then if anything happens you're not actually using your actual data itself I lost a little bit of information that I was a bit peeved with through there it also has some things uh, start on startup uh, this is the important one integrate to the send to menu so again you don't have to start looking at this icon you can actually just select that one there and do um, uh, send to and go and do a send to and that one's uh, move so it's going to take that file and it should move to the other one but it didn't I don't know why that is right that I think is not because it's not bad inside in the middle tab it's got an interesting thing um, I'm going to change this to 40 seconds and enable scanning and I'm going to ignore that one there so what it says is when I go okay every 40 seconds run this process which is take look in this folder and see if there's any files of this type so if I was to go and look at that one uh, that's the one that I actually want I'd actually have to go and look at it somewhere else and run it so if I just do that now um, within 40 seconds those files should disappear and there it does and it's rang to say that it's done so that's an automated process that I've got running through there so if I just come back onto that sorry there and if I go into the options and then inside the monitoring I can then ignore that one and if I just go into uh, um, a bit of a thing. this is screenshots one day older which is which it says delete now on my main exercise here I said confirm for delete actions this is a way of protecting my files on the test once I've got it up and running and I'm happy with it I can do it so I'm now just going to come back into there I'm going to go into options um, and I'm going to go into delete those files and it's going to do it and I'm going to go okay and now after 40 seconds it's going to say do I want to delete a certain file yes and it deletes it do I want to delete the next one no no so I've got a couple there and then it tells me the things done. so it's a good way of actually just checking your whole processes and working through there the one thing which I don't like about this option thing through here is that you've only got one choice if you've got one interval so the interval for 24 hours is 68400 so that says once a day go and run these two processes first of all move everything through actually it might move them through I should maybe do them the other way around or something um, or maybe I, um, but it only has one time interval the interval gives you three choices immediate on change like a file goes in there go and do something with it like replace it or rename it or do something else with it or you can do it in the interval and immediately on change but you know this is the one limitation that I can see about that there is um, a little um, on here that says I think it's on that one there enable multiple instances so I don't know if you can have multiple instances that are on different time um, intervals or whether one can be time interval and one can be a trigger on a change so um, that's just something to bear in mind and I haven't learned it all that well this particular video does filtering really well and uh, that one looks inside a text file itself and finds a specific word and if it finds the word invoice it goes and sends it to a different place and he also gives an example of where he's only he's made it case sensitive so it's only uppercase or lowercase one had uppercase one had um, normal case and it only moved one of the files because they had the correct case in the one so it's quite powerful some of the things it does um, as I said this icons up here but if you look in the options you don't need to have it on top you can actually just turn that off so it actually sits down in your tray all the time like that so it's running but it's not actually in, in your face um, so very powerful tool for doing a lot of file management uh, 
at the moment I've just done a couple of simple file types that I use quite frequently but there's other ones that I do and I do want to move them into another one one that I do is in something like in Revit I'll be doing some modeling and I'll be doing some families and a lot of the times I can't save them back to the libraries which are in obscure places but what I can do is save them all to a favorite so that I can find those modified that I want because I want them modified but I don't want to overwrite the original ones so it's one where I can start distributing or actually having several setups through here of different profiles where I move those particular ones to different areas. So um, you can actually make a whole load of different playlists of which ones you actually want. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but there's one other little nasty thing that I would like to highlight, and that's the delete function through here. With the association with delete, um, uh, and if I go into the delete one there you've got three choices with delete directly remove which just deletes it from the disk but it doesn't overwrite that particular partition so you actually can go and retrieve it safely erase completely blows it away and lets anything right over the top of it so you actually lose it and it's gone forever or sent to the recycle bin there was one uh, when you default load the program, it's got a few of these examples in there. One of them was called Erase or Eraser or something like that. And that one did the most vicious, which was safely erased. And I lost a little bit of information on the way. So just a word of caution on that. Make sure you've got the right um, uh, save that you actually want. Uh, also, in a way, if you don't actually have some of these rules, if you do star dot star and don't actually have the ignore deleting folder, it could go through something like your whole C drive and move every single file to some other specific place. So again, uh, treated with a little bit of caution, but very powerful and uh, I'm really pleased to have found it so I'm, I'm going to be doing a few more things on this but definitely testing them out cautiously first anyway if that was of interest to you thank you please give it a thumbs up um, thank you very much for watching